All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Of course, as always, my name is The Saved One, and today what we're going to be doing is completing the Week 9 Challenges in Fortnite. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first is to land at Loot Lake, and here is the first one. I'm going to be uh, rapid fire going through these, so keep up. So the next spot is going to be Lucky Landing, and there we go. Landed, done, completed. The next spot is Salty Springs. Land on top of the house, and there we go. So the second last one is going to be Lonely Lodge. And then we just have one more to go. So the last place is going to be Haunted Hills. And the next challenge that we have to do is going to be search chests in two different areas. Or one of two different areas. But I'll get to where those areas are in just a second. Alright, so the next mission is to search seven chests in total in one of two places. It's going to be Polar Peak and lonely lodge so you have to go into either or and obviously just search some chests and uh yeah let's just start uh searching through chests. that was the first one let's do uh the next six here is number two no here's number three no <laughs> i also totally forgot to mention that here are the chest locations inside of Polar Peak, and here are the chest locations inside of Lonely Lodge. So, make sure to pause, screenshot, whatever you need to do in order to find these chests as fast as possible. Here is number three. I believe this is number five? Four? <laughs> I'm losing count at this point. But there's someone here. This is number five. No! It's a hack. Number five. <laughs> this is number six. And this is the last one. There we go. Seven chests in two locations. It's all done. Let's move on to the next challenge. All right, so this next challenge is still pretty simple. You have to go to three geysers on the map and... Uh, fly through each of them without falling. I don't know if that makes sense, but you gotta basically not land, so that's one. <laughs> gotta go to the second one, which is right here. And don't land, don't touch the ground. That's two. I think that's how you do it. And that's three. Oh, okay. So you have to ride three different ones and then land. And then you get the challenge. So here on the screen right now is the locations of the three different geysers that I used. Uh, but all of the geysers here um, obviously are applicable. Here, are the, I think these are the easiest ones because they're all kind of in the same area. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. So let's jump into the next challenge. All right, so this next challenge is a three-part challenge. You basically just have to dance in between three statues. Here are the three statues. Please don't kill me. Come on, man. Come on, dude. It's right here on the map, right beside Polar Peak. That's the first part of the challenge. Hope you get it. All right, so the second part of this three-part challenge is to dance in between three dinosaurs. Do that real quick. Hey. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, it's right here on the map. So south of Paradise Palms, kind of to the the right of that gas station and the place where uh, Cloaksy and Tifu land. I believe it was one of the... One of the tournaments that I ended up landing there like so many times and it became meta because of how many uh, rotational spots were there. Anyways, <laughs> complete side note. Dance in between three dinosaurs and dance in between three ice sculptures completed. That's where the ice sculptures were. Here's where the dinosaurs are. Now, the, three, the third part <laughs> to the three-part challenge. And now the last part of this challenge is dance in between four hot springs. There you go. That's it. That's the challenge done. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this next challenge, you got to get five eliminations, but there's a catch to that. You have to get five different eliminate, or you got to get one elimination. You got to get five eliminations in total, one per match. And that's about it. You just got to get five, five eliminations, one per match. That's about it. Let's see if we can do it. So I'm really sad because I didn't actually get to catch this fifth elimination on video. Um, I don't know why I didn't hit record. Maybe I just am used to alt tabbing, pressing record, and then coming back. Maybe I just alt tabbed. I don't know what I did. But 
here's the elimination. I thought I would make it up to you guys just by showing you my fifth elimination. So, uh, here's the very simple kill. Dude was running up, and I hit him with two tack shots. That's about it. <laughs> but yeah, let's head on over to the next challenge. <laughs> All right, so for this next challenge, you have to deal damage to opponents from below. So you have to get it below an opponent and deal some damage to them. They are allowed to be on a slightly higher elevation than you, so sometimes it may not seem like they are, you know, directly above you. But uh, still, we're going to try and do this challenge. We'll see if we can do it. So there was an example of dealing damage to opponents from below, and you have to do about 500 damage to opponents, so hopefully that helps. Alright, so for our last challenge, you have to revive a teammate at a revive van, and here up on your screen right now is going to be all the locations that you can actually find the revive vans, and here is one just right off the bat, right, at Frosty Flights, and I believe all of these aren't RNG, so you can basically go to any location that uh, that's on the map right now and uh, there's going to be a revive van at that spot and that's going to be our last challenge for the day thank you guys so much for watching this video as usual if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the sub button and click that bell to get notifications and if you like the video be sure to show it to your friends family church group dog or other loved ones we did not mention from over here at fortnite master my name is the saved one we love you guys and have a great rest of your day peace